Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Friends, in organic gardening we always try to look for ways to deal with plant pests, plant problems and many other soil problems that does not involve um, the use of synthetic chemicals or harsh uh, fertilizers. But there are certain things that people still do without researching or understanding the science behind it. For example, the use of Epsom salt. Now, Epsom salt is a very popular fertilizer in social media, which people claim to treat lots of plant diseases, plant problems. Um, they claim that Epsom salt is an effective fertil uh, fertilizer, it is an effective uh, pesticide, um, it helps to yield lots of sweet tomatoes, um, it helps to treat the blossom end rot and it is a superfood for roses well now the truth is that all of that that i just mentioned is absolutely wrong i understand that many of you might not agree with me because you might have seen wonders in your garden after you threw epsom salt in it but the truth is that epsom salt doesn't do any of these unless and until your soil is actually deficient in magnesium now first thing let's see what is epsom salt epsom salt is a mineral salt which contains magnesium and sulfate now here please note that with this i am not saying that you should not use epsom salt in your garden you can use epsom salt in your garden or i should say that epsom salt as a fertilizer will only be helpful in your garden if your soil is deficient in magnesium which in most of the scenarios does not happen if you have a lot of organic matter in your soil already but in sandy soil or acidic soil um, generally the soil gets deficient in magnesium and then you can add um, the epsom salts in your soil that's fine the certain myths that people say about epsom salts uh, can do i would like to say first thing that epsom salt is an amazing pesticide well that is a big lie epsom salt does not help in controlling any of the pests, any of the plant pests or grubs or slugs or snails or insects or flies, nothing. I have tried them on my plants personally. I did not find any benefit in pest control. So Epsom salt definitely is not a pesticide. It will not kill any of your pests, plant pests. Secondly, Epsom salt um, helps to treat plant diseases or leaf diseases, fungal diseases or bacterial diseases. Well, that is also wrong. I have done this experiment as well on my plants. It does not help to get rid of any of the bacterial or fungal diseases. Now somewhere I have also heard that Epsom salt as a foliar spray is an amazing fertilizer and it helps to um, you know prevent all the leaf problems and all that stuff. Well I ruined one of my ornamental plant because of this wrong information and I would recommend you not to try this on your ornamental plants at all because I did that on my ornamental plant on my pothos and the leaves of my pothos completely got discolored it got all the patches of that Epsom salt uh, solution on it now People might say that, oh, maybe you did not use it in right concentration. Well, I used that Epsom salt solution as a foliar spray in the concentration that is usually mentioned in social media and online on, um, on Google. If you Google search, I use the same concentration and I ruin my plant. So I would not recommend doing it. If you want to do it, please go ahead at your own risk. The next myth is that Epsom salt is a superfood for roses. Well, that is also wrong. I have got lots of roses in my garden and I have never ever fertilized them with Epsom salt. And every year I get these beautiful 
roses in my garden without the help of Epsom salt and scientifically also there is no evidence saying that Epsom salt helps in giving beautiful flowers or beautiful blooms in your rose bushes. The next myth is that blossom and rot can be treated by Epsom salt which is completely wrong even scientifically it's wrong because blossom end rot is a calcium deficiency in the soil and adding magnesium in the soil is going to make things worse because calcium and magnesium they both compete with each other for uptake and if there is more magnesium in the soil the plant is definitely going to take up more magnesium and not calcium which is going to ruin your plant which is not going to um, give you a good yield the blossom and rot problem is going to get worse so please don't treat your blossom and rot or don't ruin the condition of your blossom and rot by adding more magnesium add more calcium to your soil so that um, that problem of blossom and rot can be fixed now many people claim that they have got a big and beautiful yield of fruits and vegetables after they added Epsom salt in their garden. Well, I cannot understand that how adding a micronutrient into your garden can give you a big yield. Plant needs both macro and micronutrient to grow healthy and to give a good produce. And macronutrients are the ones that are taken up in abundance by the plant to give a good yield um, and to produce beautiful and big flowers. Maybe your soil was already nutrient rich, which is why you got a good yield. With this, I would just like to say that please fertilize only if your soil is deficient in any of the nutrients. If your soil and your plants are doing great, please do not fertilize because the plants will only take up as much nutrients as it needs and rest of the nutrients the rest of the minerals are just going to get leached out in the water beds and in the lakes and rivers and just going to pollute the aquatic life it's not going to help your plants it's not going to help uh, mother nature also the plants can get wood burned the plants leaves can get burned and the plant growth can also get affected by over fertilization so it's not going to help use these resources judiciously do a soil test and then fertilize your plant if your plant really needs it i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you really liked it please do subscribe and uh, do give us a thumbs up and please leave your comments in the comment section and i will get back to you as soon as possible see you next time with another, another exciting video stay safe happy gardening bye bye